Welcome to the online church school for Homer United Methodist Church. Today is Palm Sunday, the start of Holy Week. Again and again, we draw on courage. Before we start, let's say a prayer. Loving God, you invite us into relationship with you. We invite you into our lesson today. Help us to hear that the story of faith is a story of courage. Again and again, your people acted with courage. It took courage for John the Baptist to prepare the way. It took courage for Mary to say, here I am, use me. It took courage for the disciples to drop their nets and follow Jesus. It took courage for Nicodemus to visit Jesus. It took courage for Jesus to enter Jerusalem on a donkey. It takes courage for us to be reformed by you. Faith has never been easy. It is a journey of courage. Again and again, God, show us the way. Amen. In the days before Jesus entered Jerusalem, Jesus had dinner in Bethany at the home of the siblings Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. Let's listen to Mary Williams read the story from the Lectionary Story Bible written by Ralph Milton with the art of Margaret Kyle. Something Beautiful from Jesus, based on John 12, verses 1 through 8. One day Jesus went to visit his friends who lived in the town of Bethany. His friends were named Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. They were brother and sisters. Lazarus was the one who had died, but Jesus brought him back to life again. When Jesus came to visit them, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus said, let's make a nice dinner for Jesus and his friends. So they prepared some good food. While they were eating, Mary brought some perfume. It smelled beautiful and Mary had to pay a lot of money to buy it. She poured the perfume on Jesus' feet. That was her way of showing Jesus that she loved him. Judas, one of Jesus' friends, didn't like what Mary did. We could have sold that perfume for a lot of money. Then we could have used that money to buy food for people who have nothing to eat. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Mary has done a beautiful thing. She knows that soon I will have to go to Jerusalem and that I will probably be killed there. So she is getting my body ready to be buried. But what about the poor people, asked Judas. You will always have poor people to help, but you won't always have me. G Judas just shook his head. He didn't understand what Jesus meant. Neither did Mary, but she was glad that she poured the perfume on Jesus' feet. Wave your palm branches and march and sing along as Falcom sings, Hosanna, loud Hosanna. Hosanna, loud Hosanna, the little children sing through pillar court and temple the lovely anthem ring to jesus who had blessed them close folded to his breast the children sang their praises, the simplest and the best. 
from wherever they followed, mid an exultant crowd, the victor palm branch waving, the chanting clear and loud, the Lord of men and angels rode on in lowly state, nor scorned that little children should on his bidding wait. Hosanna in the highest, that ancient song we sing, for Christ is our Redeemer, the Lord of heaven, our King. Oh, may we ever praise Him with heart and lowly voice, and in His blissful presence eternally. On Palm Sunday, we remember that Jesus' entry into Jerusalem was not a risk-free parade. It was a protest parade, a protest against those in power, a parade to prepare the way for a different kind of king. And this was all happening with plots in the background, plots to kill Jesus, and to kill Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised. We're reminded that the crowds were brave to show up that day, and that Jesus drew on courage to face his journey to the cross. Let's listen to Mary read John chapter 12, verses 12 through 19, from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Today I'm reading from John 12, verses 12 through 19. It is Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm leaves, and they went out in the, to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! the king of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it as it is written. Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. So the crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify. It was also because they heard that he had performed this sign that the crowd went to meet him. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. This is a long, hard week for Jesus. Today, we remember the protest parade that he led. On Thursday, we'll remember the dinner Jesus had with his friends and how one of those friends betrayed him. On Friday, we'll remember how Jesus was arrested and sentenced to die, even though he did not do anything wrong. Jesus knew how this week would end, so he had to be very brave. Sometimes God needs us to do hard things, but the good news is that God also gives us courage. The root of the word courage is kur, meaning heart. Courage is deep within us. 
written on our hearts. We often find it when we most need it, when everything else has been stripped away. And when we don't have enough courage ourselves, we can borrow it from others. That's why whenever we protest like Jesus to stand up for what is right, we do it together. We help each other be brave when we know we must do something hard. Who are some of the brave people you know or know about? Who helps you to be brave? Let's say a prayer. Great teacher, you rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. It was a peaceful protest, but it was risky. You had to have known that this would end with violence. For who could stand against the state and survive? Thank you for showing us how to face hard things. Thank you for the courage to do hard things. Help us be brave even when we are scared. In your name we pray, amen. We won't have video lessons during Holy Week, but the again and again children's lesson booklet that was given to you at the beginning of Lent has activities for both Monday Thursday and Good Friday. I hope you'll work through those lessons on those days. I'll see you next Sunday when we celebrate Easter.